Hi guys, James here from Sunseeker Southampton. Apologies, I haven't got my full camera kit with me today, but I'm going to give you a brief run round about an exciting new listing coming to market, which is a Sea Lion S450 named Magic Millie. She's lying in Chichester Marina and she will be coming to market at £327,500 tax paid. I'm just going to cut to a tour I did a few weeks back in readiness for appraising the value of the boat prior to marketing. So please enjoy today. And as always, any further information required, please get in touch directly. The sun's out and I'm just gonna give you a quick walk around preview of a new market listing, which is a Sea Line S450. Behind me here, here is Magic Millie. You have to excuse, I haven't got my full camera kit with me today, so it's a quick tour on the phone. But I just wanna show you really how nice she is. Here in the flesh, so it's a 2015, build 2016 model hugely popular these were originally badged up an sc42 and later boats became an s450 which included this large bathing platform fixed platform on the back here plenty of space to put hurley davit system and a tender uh, the seats configure in a number of different arrangements on the back here so this whole back seat arrangement slides across centre line and we'll demonstrate that in a sec and also these are sun pad backrest drop down so I just spin this round and you can see the seat coming across to join up with the fixed starboard seating so it doesn't take very long and then you've got a massive layout here big table and we can drop down these backrest cushions you can see them dropping away there and that gives an instant double sun pad the standard these were fixed and it was an option then to have the drop down set up uh, and then you've also got an up and down table here get that into a nice comfy position two little pull out supports here for the table open up the top and you can see now we have a totally different cockpit arrangement for dining or say with that sun pad on the aft aft end if I just come around back onto the platform and get a feel for how that looks like so Obviously then you've got the access in on the port side. There's a transom door here, keeping kids and dogs and what have you safe in the cockpit. And then two large worktops here for preparing on. So the port side's got the option under here for an electric griddle, nice work prep area. See little attention to detail, things like these rolls that go in the lower parts of the doors there to stop drafts into the cockpit here and then below we've got emergency bilge pumps uh, outdoor exterior 240 volt socket and then over on the starboard side there's a nice sink with a draining board there see everything's absolutely immaculate and then underneath there's a drinks fridge and a storage cupboard, which actually will take an ice maker if you ever wanted to retrofit one. Um, access out onto the side decks, very, very straightforward with these huge opening doors. You see we've got really nice wide decks. It's the same hull as the Sea line F42 or S. Uh, 450 which is the later flybridge model giant giant four deck here then up forward anchor locker and open handle there for attaching your fender lines to and we've got lift up press here centre line with the bow sun pads that run down forward on the coppers here kept off the boat at the moment back at home we've got lockers here on the deck Storing ropes on board. See, we've got mesh window protectors on at the moment just to keep the boat in nice condition. 
and then you'll note four forward facing seats here so split through that companionway down the middle head on back inside Coming closer now, you can see this is a really cool feature on these. You can sit up here with your feet on that sort of 45 degree surface, gives you somewhere comfortable for long distances if you're doing cross channel passages and what have you. Got handy storage bins front here, and then over on the starboard side, a fully equipped helm. A very very high spec boat you see the bolster seats lift up here to drive either sitting or standing so we just lift that up and drop it down we'll sit at the helm here you see the visibility is great we've got a sliding window here to excuse the mesh cover on the outside but that allows you to stick your head out when you need to and then we've got fly by wire throttles uh, electric Lenko trim tabs, bow and stern thruster controls, as well as a joystick. So uh, we're on stern drive D6370, which is the larger engine option on this hull. Gets on over 30 knots. We've got a full array of things like engine instrumentation. You just power her up. Just check what the engine hours are reading. It's a very low there, reading 231, 233 respectively. And then we've got lighthouse powered Raymarine touchscreen plotter there. VHF speaker, we've got color display here for speed and depth. Nice little handy pocket here for storing binoculars and what have you. We've got a 12 volt socket in there. And then let's head down into the accommodation. So two Two cabins plus the optional converting saloon here. So we're finished in the satin black American walnut with a cream lacquer on the top doors there in the galley. Very well laid out so Loads of storage, these are drawers. So cut the reed. Some nice deep storage drawers. Space in here for uh, for storing the cover that's over the sink here. So we've got a one and a half bowl stainless sink. And a three burner gas hob. Then up top, again more storage, making it very practical for extended periods of time away. Uh, TV's on a bracket here, so as you spin that out like so, if you want to view from the seating opposite. covers that put in here so we've got banker switches up here which is your main uh, this is the the 24 volt side this is the AC side we've got controls for the diesel heating uh, generator it's got a four kilowatt generator down in the engine room and then upgraded fabrics throughout so we've got leather cream leather on the sofas here so table drops down if you want to make that with a pair of short legs into a an occasional third double bed. Carpets throughout, if we have a look under the carpets you'll see the walnut floors underneath. So kept in great condition, we've got storage lockers under the floor there. And then two, two onboard cabins, so forward is the VIP master cabin here. We've got top level Locker boxes up here, either side of the bed, which run all the way down both sides. Good size wardrobe this side, and the same matching 
the other side. You'll notice this big skylight above our head here with a blind, obviously for night time. Nice big Bomar stainless steel hatches. And then this is both the day's day head and a Jack and Jill style ensuite here. So we've got Jabsco electric flush, freshwater toilet, detailing things like synthetic teak floor on the bottom there, nice little black Corian worktop there with a fleck in it. Very practical, good usable space. And then the other side, we've got a separate shower stall here. Handy shelf there for shampoos and what have you. Big teak step for sitting down. And then you've got again that synthetic floor. It's a nice little compartment there. And you have doors in through from the main saloon here. So that doubles up, I say, as a as a day head, if you so wish. Very, very hard to find fault with this. Absolutely immaculately kept, always based here in the UK. And then we come down to the guest cabin, which is full beam midships in the boat. And this is configured currently with a, a double and a twin here. These are three individual beds that can be slid across on the floor to give a number of different configurations. So you can have one giant bed with this one coming across or you can split down the middle of there and turn them into three singles. So if you've got an array of different kids or adults staying on board, it's a very versatile space in here. It's absolutely massive. The headroom isn't particularly high here, just above fine as a kid's cabin, I say, or if adults you soon get used to ducking down when you come in. And then we've got a wardrobe in the corner. Again, still opening port lights, good for ventilation. We're on UK three pin plug sockets there. Easy enough to change out for USBs or EU sockets if you so wish. And then we've got our own ensuite again here for the second cabin. There's a shower door here that comes round. To give you a full ensuite there. So absolutely lovely boat big skylight here above the saloon, letting a lot of natural light in. So last but not least, we'll have a look through the engine bay. Just put the table away. And here in the middle of the cockpit floor, we've got a pair of the larger, say D6370 stern drive engines with a joystick. Very clean and tidy in here. So we've got outboard wing fuel tanks, four kilowatt generator, fish panda tucked up in the corner there in a soundproof box. On the forward bulkhead here, we've got all the electrical breakers for the main battery isolators. They've got independent switches on the main panel downstairs to save you climbing down here when you first get on. And hot water tank over there. And again, the other fuel tank but you've got things like the water strainers here in the top fuel filters in the middle down there so very easy for general day-to-day -day serviceability so say it's just a brief tour today and i'll uh, i'll do a full tour on her when we've got a little bit more time but just a, a unique opportunity to get a little bit of a head start perhaps on others before she gets onto the main marine portal so if you'd like to know any more say it's james at sunseekersouthampton.com or plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven. Drop me a message or give me a call. We can talk through this boat or anything else on the website that we've got for sale at the moment. Hope you've enjoyed the tour and we look forward to hearing from you.